I'm, I'm so excited about Sherlock. Can't oh. wait to see it. How are you? How are you playing the role? Hello, hello. That's a huge question to answer, and I appreciate the curiosity, but you'll have to wait and see. You will have to wait and see. I mean, it's it's. Uh, I watched Basil Rathbone and I watched the brilliant Jeremy Brett and obviously Danny Jr.'s incarnation recently, all of whom are just phenomenally different. So I knew I had to carve out something new and fresh and I think part of that's to do with my age, part of it's to do with the fact that it's set in 2010, part of it's to do with the fact that we're dramatising the meeting between Watson and Holmes which hasn't been done, I don't think ever actually on screen anyway. Um, so there's lots of newness to it, but how I'm... I'll have to leave that to an audience to decide, to be honest. With you. You've got Mark Gatiss and Stephen Moffat involved, who are both genius team, exactly. I mean, incredible writers. And a fantastic production team, BBC Wales, doing an amazing job with design and fantastic locations and, and, and two extraordinary directors, Eros Lynn, who's uh, a Welsh boy who's done a lot of work with the Who team, and, and Paul McGuigan. I mean, you know, the man who brought us Gangster Number no. One, amongst other fantastic films, and Lucky Number no. Eleven. Uh, he's a. It, it's been it's been a real experience, and um, an extraordinary DOP as well. Who uh, it, it's going to be very filmic. It's going to be quite special visually, I think, apart from anything else. And as you say, the writing team is time honoured and, and well tested, and I, they're just brilliant. I mean, they're the kind of scripts you just think, I'm, I cannot believe I have this to say. Um, I cannot also believe how much of this I have to say sometimes. Stephen Wright's quite a fair old whack, and you know, Sherlock Holmes is a motor mouth, so yeah, it's hard work, but great, great fun. Really rewarding to play, really exciting. And are you done with filming now? What's the time? Yeah, we finished in. Um, oh God, when did we finish? I can't remember, March sometime, I think. Yeah. So yeah, we're well done now. So when's the air then? I don't know, I don't know. The BBC in all its wisdom will tell us soon, I'm sure, but um, I'd imagine it would be sometime around September. I think it's a night sort of drawing in kind of a show and um, yeah, it's got an element of the Victorian gothic of the original stories which need, needs a, an autumn view I think rather than a summer view but we'll see we'll see but I don't think they're going to waste it I think they know they've got something pretty good on their hands fingers crossed anyway I'm sounding ridiculously cocky about it but it, it's just it's what, I mean unless we really screw it unless I really screw it up we've got a winner because as you say it's, it's just a very good starting point